What's up YouTube? This is Golden Sage Rider. I'm here back with another video and actually on today's video I want to go over the topic of the chain and sprocket. So I finally got my chain and sprocket and I'm about to go get them installed at a shop as I do not have the proper tool. I'm on my bike, my own plus the chain adjustment and all of that. So I'm just gonna, I don't mind paying a little extra bucks but I have it fixed by a professional then try to mess around with it i mean i could go get the tools myself and start working on it but i just didn't want to fuck it up and on the next slide uh, i am explaining what are the chain and sprocket that i'm using for the bike and what are the brands that i went with and also if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe to the channel and then hit the bell icon so every time i post a new video you will be notified so for my chain and sprocket i got vortex chain uh, I, I'm sorry, I got Vortex sprockets rear and the front and also I got 3D chain which all in gold. So for the 3D chain I had a choice to get a black and white, uh, black and gold, all black or all in gold. So I decided to go all with gold at that as gold has a better look on the bike. So this is my 3D chain that I got. Um, basically when you're getting a chain for your motorcycle make sure you pay a good amount of price for your especially the key components such as your chain or your sprocket you don't want to buy something cheap because your life is on the line so this chain itself was uh, almost um 200 uh, 290 dollars and i decided to go with all gold because that has a better look on the bike and there you go that's basically how it looks and this is a 525 pitch so this is the chain and also this is the uh front sprocket that i got that i got with 17 tooth so uh, also man says it on here so vortex uh front sprocket and then he has 17 over here and also i got my uh rear sprocket also from vortex um over here and this is also um let's go ahead and open this up i also got this in stock pitch which is 525 with 41 tooth as it all mentions it right over here and also it has the vortex on here so basically what i was trying to say when you're buying things like this on for your motorcycle whatever motorcycle you got make sure you spend a little bit extra money but you're buying and make sure you're buying the good product for your motorcycle especially on a chain because let's say if you buy a chain that does not fit your bike or it's a cheap product it can damage the best case scenario is that the chain is just going to come off and then you just get another chain but it can damage your engine it can damage your engine and components and then at some point you have to spend thousands of dollars to fix all of those components as well as your engine so make sure you spend a little bit extra but you're safe and your bike remains safe and also for your sprockets make sure you spend good amount of money to buy good product not just a cheap shit product and then down the road you would have to spend 10 times more in order to get your bike fixed because the beginning you didn't choose the right product vortex offers front sprocket rear sprocket and the chain all in one box but i decided to shop these separately because the chain that i wanted it which was this 3d chain they do not sell it on these regular uh, Vortex packages. So on a leader bike, you would want to have something that makes sense to you. So because of the power of the bike and everything. So you want to buy something that is uh, reliable and that does not give you any problem. Well, thank you for watching the video. That was just a good little bit of explanation. And I was just trying to tell you guys what are the chain and sprocket that I have and what are the brands that I used. And what are the differences between buying the whole kit versus buying them separate i'm getting closer to the shop so i'll be there in a minute or so they are literally located like 100 yards away from me so they're really nice guys i've been here before it's called dna motorsports and they are really nice guys i've been here multiple times they're right over there um and I never had any issue with them. And the pricing is really good. They always hook me up with some discounts and good prices. So they mainly work on a custom bikes over here and they're doing a real good job. I'm happy with them. 
So let's go ahead. Um, I'm not allowed to take a video while they're working on the bikes, but let's go ahead and check the bike in. And then from there, once they're done, I'm gonna show you guys the look, the new look of the bike with the chain and sprocket. All right, so they did a great job, man. <laughs> I really, that looks stunning. Like I can't wait to like, just fucking ride around with that gold chain. It looks absolutely stunning, gorgeous on the bike. It absolutely adds to the look of the bike and I just cannot describe Well, the reason I chose to go with stock pitch, which is 525 chain and sprocket, was because if I choose, let's say, um, hyper sport or like losing one in the front or adding two in the rear or like things like that, I do not. The first thing first, you're gonna have a discrepancy in your uh, odometer, and also because I'm not using the bike in a track as much as I should. So that way I don't want to have any discrepancies and all of that. So, so for street riding, uh, 525 pitch, it's the best option that you can go with the bike. All right, here's a low pull. Man, I'm loving how that chain delivers the power to the rear wheel. Man, that's fucking insane. And then I can feel the bike is lighter and it pulls way better than the stock chain. So it's fucking crazy. Well, fellas, this is it for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning to the channel. And again, make sure if you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon. And if you're already a subscriber, make sure you tap the bell icon so whenever I post a new content, you will be notified. And make sure you help me to get to a thousand subscriber if you enjoy the content. And if you need any question or anything, ask me in the comment section down below and I'll make sure I'll get back to you. And this is it for today and then stay tuned as I have a few more videos coming up. Thank you for watching again and until next one.